Usually schools use um, water. I'm using ethanol because uh, it's much faster. And ethanol is really good at leaching out the anthocyanin in the you know the pigment chemical in the in the red cabbage. Have a look at this. So here's what it is. Drain it out. Try not to get any solids in. Not that it matters because it's just lettuce particles. Alright, so here's your anthocyanin in alcohol solution. That's your indicator. Now, everyday chemicals, cloudy ammonia, used to clean windows and floors and jewelry and whatever you'd like. Now, this stuff smells terrible. Mm -hmm. Do not whip this in, it will give you headaches. White vinegar. Right, the, the Coles variety, you can just pick it up at Coles. It's Woolworths. Oh, Woolworths. <laughs> Sorry. Woolworths. <laughs> As if that actually matters. <laughs> yeah, maybe um, slightly lower pH. <laughs> that's, right. quality. That's, white, that's white vinegar. And it's rather dilute because um, it's home brand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, this is um, NaOH, which is the same stuff as drain cleaner. So I can say NaOH, uh, sodium hydroxide, is an everyday chemical, even though you don't block a drain every day. So this is all with some, some water. Technically, you're supposed to use gloves when you're handling this stuff, but I didn't handle it, so it's okay. Uh, sulfuric acid, it's not exactly a, this is dilute stuff, so it's safe. It's about one molar um, concentration here, so I'll just pour a bit in and I'll further dilute it. It's not really an everyday chemical, but I just want to highlight the colour changes. So, let's arrange it according to um, increasing acidity. Right, I would guess that dilute sulfuric acid would still be vinegar in acidity and the most basic would be the um, dissolved drain cleaner. So acidic to basic. Let's see what happens when we add the anthocyanin to it. Right, so, see that it's turning red. intensity. That's um, pink, three squirts each. Oh, that's green. That's the cloudy ammonia. Um, so you can see a color, ra a range of colors yeah. <coughs> um, with our um, homemade indicator, which is actually pretty cool because most indicators that we use they only change colour through a very narrow pH range, um, whereas the cabbage juice we've just made, anthocyanin solution in alcohol, um, it changes colour over a very wide pH range.